Hey guys, it's Michael from Foundation Fitness. First, let me say I hope everyone is doing well and is healthy physically and mentally after our first full week of all being home. Um, you know, all the kids doing their schoolwork from home, parents pretty much working from home. So I hope that everybody is trying to get outside, do some physical activity, go for a walk as a family, play some basketball in the driveway if you have a hoop, or even just hopscotch or a game of tag outside. Um, I promised I would do some videos to show some things you can do in your house if you don't have any gym equipment or physical um, exercise equipment at home. So I'm going to continue that on this week and this is our um, Sunday Night Monday installment of that. The exercise I want to show you today is a standard floor push-up. Now I know that sounds a little bit elementary but there are some important points that I want to bring up when you're doing a standard push-up um, with regard to your posture and your technique in your form. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is your posture. And I'm talking about your prone posture as you are lying face down parallel to the floor. Um, remember, a push-up is not just dropping down and pushing back up. There's more of a technique to it. So when you are in a push-up position, in an up position, you want to be as flat as a board from your head right through your heels. You don't want to have your butt in the air. You don't want to have your hips sag this way. You want to be right here and nice and level and straight. And the reason that I mentioned from the head to the heels is because you want to protect your cervical spine as well. You don't want to be in this position with your head looking up. You want to be looking right at the floor with a nice neutral spine all the way through. So that's one. Second thing I want to talk about is the support of your spine and your hip complex. When you do a push-up right before you start the move, you want to draw your stomach in and make sure that you are activating your transverse abdominus muscles, the ones that support the spine. And you also want to squeeze your glutes and make sure that you are firming up that hip complex. So from both sides, drawing in from the front and squeezing from the back to make sure that you support that midsection. The last thing I want to talk about is making sure that as you lower yourself into the eccentric position, what happens is you start to stretch the muscles of the chest, shoulders, and triceps. And the back muscles, right at the shoulder blades, have to contract. So when you do this, you again want to support the thoracic spine because the pushing movement, or concentric movement, is from the chest, and the reciprocal motion is from the back to offer support. So as one muscle stretches, the other one contracts. So when you do this, you're up, you're nice and straight, your abs are engaged, transverse abdominis, glutes are engaged, and then as you lower yourself into the eccentric position, you want to make sure you are squeezing your shoulder blades together to support your torso and your spine. And it's going to look just like that. So every time down, the chest stretches, shoulders stretch, back contracts, and then pushing up. And that is the move, staying as flat as you can, head nice and neutral, and support through the hips, abdominals, and shoulders. Give that one a try, the next thing I'll show you or some variations on a staircase to spice it up a little bit, but everything starts with the same good solid technique. So give that one a try. See you soon. So this is a variation of the push-up we just saw from the floor, and sometimes push-ups from the floor may be a little difficult. So a variation on this is a push-up off the stairs because your body doesn't have to fight gravity quite so much. The way you can do this is pick a stair that's just about even with your chest. Make sure your body's nice and straight. 
all the same things apply to the form. Squeezing your shoulder blades, drawing your stomach in, engaging your glute muscles. When you do this, just push up to here, just like you would off the floor, but because you're on an angle and a little more upright, it's not quite as strenuous and it's a regression from the push up off the floor. It'll create strength in your chest and your shoulders and your triceps, and then eventually you can do a push up on the floor. Now, let's say you can do 10 push ups on the floor. A way to progress to the next level might be a plyometric push up, which I'll show you right here. And this is more of a power activity and an explosive activity. Again, generate some power and strength through the chest, shoulders, and triceps. And the way this one looks is you're down, same starting position, but when you push yourself up, you're going to explode up, push yourself right off the stairs into a standing position. Just like that. Let yourself fall down. stairs and where your hands hit the stairs because you don't want to miss. So what you could do is just a small movement at first to make sure that you're hitting the stairs appropriately and then from that point push yourself up into the full position. One more additional variation to the plyometric push-up is to try to do this on one leg and then when you come up try to balance. This is pretty challenging so I'm going to give it a try and see what we can come up with. So, same story in position, the only difference is we're going to be on one leg. I'll try it on my right leg, lifting my left leg up, I'm right here, same story in position, go down, go up, and balance, and hold yourself, and let yourself fall forward, and up. <laughs> little jump there, try not to jump. Down. That wasn't bad. Let's see if I need one more. Not bad. A little more challenging. Give it a shot. These are all these push up progressions that you can do. At home, you have the staircase. So if you don't have equipment at home, give this a try. It's a really good activity. It'll make you healthy, it'll make you strong. Give it a try. I'll see you guys real soon.